looks like a big, you know, brown UFO. It's just this circular kind of dome looking thing. Some say it looks out of this world. Oh, easily Star Wars, yeah. But it got its nickname for a reason. What does it look like to you? Like a big mushroomy house shooting out of the cliff. Tucked away along the rocky coastline near Black's Beach, the mushroom house will surely grab your attention. It's something you might see in like a desert landscape, but you're coming around the corner and suddenly yeah. it's, you know, it's a beautiful surprise. With an air of mystery about it, the mushroom house has piqued the curiosity of surfers and hikers for over 50 years. Just hiking and walking, I've seen it along my way and I was like, oh, what is that? It's like, what is that? And who owns it? And how do they get there? The Bell Pavilion, as it was originally called, was designed and built for Sam Bell of Bell's Potato Chips in the 1960s. He already had a summer home on top of the cliffs and wanted a guest home built down below so visitors could have a 180 degree view of the ocean. This is the only picture I could find showing what the inside used to look like. Everybody knew the mushroom house. It was like we used to like walk from here as a little kid just to go look at it. And you'd see people, the owners and their friends, entertaining people on the patio. I believe my friend was telling me that there was an elevator that leads from like the bottom to like the top part of the house. It's been inoperable for about five years, but a funicular railway style elevator tram, much like this one you see here, used to take people up and down the 300 foot cliffside between the two homes. I remember like in the early 70s, walking from here and going up and surfing up blacks. And uh, that was the iconic, like, hey, I'll meet you in front of the mushroom house, we'll paddle out there. I met the current owner, a San Diego philanthropist who didn't want to be identified, who's owned it since 1987. And he showed me a copy of an old National Geographic magazine from 1969, in which the home was featured. Sadly, he says it's been vandalized in recent years, making it difficult to maintain. Well, right now it looks like abandoned and kind of uh, decomposing a bit. Last time I walked by it, uh, concrete was kind of spalding, probably from the weather. It was boarded up. Photographer Jay Erdman and I made the trek out there at low tide to get a glimpse for ourselves and fly the drone over this iconic landmark. It was definitely worth the hike. The owner tells me erosion of the cliffside and sea level rise have been a problem, but for now, there are no plans to tear it down, and it should be around for sightseers to appreciate for years to come. In La Jolla, I'm Brian White for CBS 8. Very interesting. Thanks so much, Brian. Now, CBS 8 did reach out to the La Jolla Historical Society. They say while the home is an iconic San Diego landmark, it is not currently considered historic. We're told to receive such a designation, it would need approval from the city's Historic Resources Board.